Okay, so here's another type of gauge problem. Titration problem. Here, I'm at a particular point in the titration curve, I don't know where. I've got this in the flask, I've got this in the burette, I've added 50 milliliters so far. I started off with 100 milliliters of point to molar in the flask at the bottom. I added this much. I know the Ka of which one? The one on the right or left? The left, because this is an acid. It's a weak acid. I'm adding a strong base. I want to find the pH. So let's go through this. I don't know where I am in the titration yet. So I've got to figure that out. Um, but I don't have to do the whole curve. I do know that this is a weak acid, uh, strong base titration, though. Because I'm a weak acid, I'm adding a strong base. So I always want to start out with a number of millimoles. If I multiply these two, 0.2 times 100, I'll get 20 millimoles of the weak acid. Uh, if I do the same for the strong base, 0.4 times 50, I'll also get 20 millimoles. So out of millimoles of acid and base are equal, what part of the titration curve am I? I'm at the equivalence point. Thus, I must use what solving method? Ice table. The ice table. I must. And so let me kind of write out the reaction first, just so you can see how I would do the ice table. And then we'll get to the ice table second. So I've got this strong uh, weak acid. I'm adding the strong base. Again, you could write sodium hydroxide or just hydroxide, whatever. I'll just write hydroxide. Because I have a strong base, it's going to go 100% to the right. So I have OCl minus plus water in the products. Again, it's going to go 100% to the right. I start with 20 of each. Because the right side is favored, this is going to totally react. And they'll react in a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm going to lose all my reactants. Minus 20. I have zero reactants left over. For the products, I'm going to start with zero, but I'm going to add 20 to have 20 left over. So you can see here I'm going to have a weak base left over at the equivalence point because my weak acid and strong base totally neutralized. Because I have a weak base in excess, I'm expecting the pH to be greater than 7 uh, when I calculate this. So, Again, I don't have weak acid, I don't have strong base, all I have left is the weak base, so that's what I write down. Because there's nothing left, it's just sitting in a solution of water all by itself. It produces, uh, so it goes through acid-base reaction, HOCl plus uh, H3O minus, uh, OH minus. You might think, oh hey, I have a weak base and weak acid conjugates together, but because this reaction goes so little to the right, this will not be a buffer. There's so much more of this one and so little of the HOCl. So how much do I have? Well, I have 20 millimoles. And for the ice table, I've got to use molarity. Or I encourage you to use molarity. I have 100 initially. I added 50. That's a total of 150 milliliters. Uh, for the eye line, I ignore water, zero and zero. Since there's zero on the product side, I add X. Since there's a new number, I'm adding X to the products, I lose it in the reactants. So 20 over 150 minus X, X and X. So now I'll go back to the right hand side of the board, finish this question. Finish my ice table, I'm going to set up my K expression. K equals products x squared over reactants 20 for 150. Okay, and this is which k? It's kb because that's a base. So this is kw over ka or kw is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. ka is given 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8. Here I solve for x. x is going to equal the square root of kb times 20 over 150. And I skipped a step here. Remember, I'm assuming that this x is 0. 
Uh, you can do that whenever you have an addition or subtraction with an x. The x is going to be a really tiny number, so you can ignore it. So this is, here this is the concentration of OH minus. And so P O H equals the negative log of O H minus, and P H is 14 minus P O H. Any questions on this one? So this one was just your standard weak base calculation, and that happened at the equivalence point because I lost all my weak acid. I had to use the ice table. So this is just one step in what could have been a long titration, but we just gave you one part of that titration at the 50 milliliters of strong base.